Hey guys, so this video is for all the GATE 2023 aspirants on what to expect, what would be the syllabus, what are the paper combinations, what is the eligibility, what could be the exam dates. So every time what happens is you have to wait till September because that is when GATE releases the notification and when you start the preparation from September it becomes a bit too late especially if you are preparing for like heavy papers like civil, electrical, mechanical or computer science it becomes really tough when you start in September because only a few months are left so that is the reason behind making this video on what you can expect based on the previous years and based on what has happened in the last year so whoever is writing GATE 2023 and you are totally new to this you can watch this video to find out what you can expect so we have also made a blog on it you can go and check it right away so first thing is who is conducting GATE 2023. So this year it is expected to be conducted by IIT Kanpur. So this is the expectation because this happens in a rolling way. Like if you had seen IIT Bombay conducted then IIT Kadakpur conducted. So like that every year it is changing and it is up to some 7 IITs and 1 IAC to conduct in a rolling manner. This could change but right now this is the expectation that IIT Kanpur will conduct it and every year it is conducted in the first and second week of February because we have so many papers your exam date generally is on Saturday Sunday of the first week of February and the second week of February. Going by that we can expect it to be 4th, 5th, 11th and 12th but you can just generally keep February first or second week in mind and when you can register all that is in September only, nothing right now. And in GATE 2023, we expect the eligibility criteria that any third year or a higher year of an undergraduate program student can attempt the paper, whether you are from engineering, science or arts degree, because this was the case for the last two years. And one important thing to note is that there is no age limit criteria, at least for writing the exam GATE, there is no age limit criteria. When maybe you are trying to join a PSU or something, they might have an age criteria. But for writing GATE, there is no age criteria. And there is no limit on how many times you can appear for GATE as well. So you don't have to worry, okay, I've already appeared two times, what to do now? So that worry is not there. And if you see the exam pattern, so in the last two, three years, they have introduced this new pattern called multiple select questions, where one or more than one option is read. So we have three types of questions now. One is your MCQ where there is just one option is correct and there is negative marking for this. If it is a one mark question, you will have 0.33 negative and if it is a two mark question, you will have 0.67 as your negative. And you will also have multiple select questions like I told you where one or more option is correct and there is no negative in this. And numerical answer type where you have to like they'll give you a virtual keypad if 15 is the answer you have to type out 15 there won't be any options so in this also there is no negative and multiple select questions they have increased the number of questions so if you see for the core papers when they first introduced there were just one or two questions but this time they have increased to six to seven questions and if it is a theoretical paper you can expect even more questions like 10 to 12 questions as msqs so make sure you include that in your practice and as of now these are the papers available this you can just check the list here and last year they introduced two new papers and this year we are not sure what is going to be the scene but more or less these papers are going to continue and now from 2021 the new change is that you can write two papers so that can increase your chances and you can give two papers at the same time and one score does not affect the other even if you fail in one of the exams and score very well you can use that so here are the expected paper combinations this is again as per last year and it could change so if you are writing let's say civil you have options for aerospace and ARS architecture environmental science geomatics naval architecture and marine engineering so like this you have two options you can now write two papers if you want to increase your chances and you can manage your preparation for both the papers and coming to the competition level for all the core papers about 1 lakh people appear for GATE we do not know the exact number but this is what is as per the previous years and for subjects like environmental science or geomatics around 10,000 or little lesser than that appear if you have decided to appear for GATE don't wait till the very end so now itself you can start your preparation slowly every 
day one hour one hour you can try to dedicate and slowly increase the time you can check out the video by aditya sir on how to prepare for gate 2023 i'm leaving the link in the description and we also have very specific courses for your gate preparation so we have courses for gate civil gate environmental science and gate geomatics engineering and you can also prepare for maths and aptitude from us so if you see for gate civil engineering we have three courses one is apcd one then you have premium live and then you have premium plus so you can check all the comparison whichever suits you you can take it if you are a very self motivated person you can go for apcd one or premium live and if you want some sort of like help throughout your preparation and mentorship you can go for premium plus you can just whatsapp us or call us for any sort of queries with that i will end this video and see you next time with another video